Hello, my name is Montana Dickerson. How do you brush your teeth on in space? All right, getting to the good basic questions now, but these are good. Um, so we brush, the, brush our teeth the same way, but we have a little problem that, that we don't have on Earth. So up here, we don't have any sinks. So you got a couple options. You can either, whatever's in your mouth, you can spit it out into a napkin, but that gets pretty messy up here. So most folks, including myself, choose to just swallow it. So I'll be looking forward to a sink here when I get back to Earth. Okay, thank you. Fluoride should never be added to our water supply, and there are plenty of compelling reasons why. Fluoride harms the environment. 99% of fluoride added to water never touches a tooth. It ends up on your lawn, or down your shower drain or toilet. The result is waste that pollutes the environment. Fluoridation chemicals are toxic even at low doses. There are two compounds used for fluoridating water supplies today, namely sodium silica fluoride and hydrofluorosilicic acid. These are the waste products from the wet scrubbing systems of the fertilizer industry and are classified as hazardous wastes. Fluoride is also the only unregulated drug that is forced as a mass medication on the population with no control of dosing or frequency. In February 2014, researchers from Harvard University listed fluoride as one of the top developmental neurotoxicants. 37 studies showed a link between fairly modest fluoride exposure and lowered IQ in children. The poison warning on toothpaste labels is enough to sound the alarm. A mere one-fourth milligram of toothpaste ingested and you are advised to call the poison control. Beware, that could be the same amount found in one glass of fluoridated water. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention admits that 41% of adolescents now have dental fluorosis, which occurs from an excess of fluoride. This is a condition where tooth enamel becomes progressively discolored and mottled. Dental fluorosis is not just a cosmetic issue. It can affect other tissues, such as your bones and brain, if they've been overexposed to fluoride as well. These problems are a real health threat prompting 98% of Europe to not fluoridate its water. Fluoride can harm you by damaging your bones and brain, lowering your IQ, causing thyroid dysfunction, and harming your teeth, contrary to what is promoted. You can find this substance in your tap water, in your toothpaste, and even in pesticide and fertilizer residue on the food you eat. There are different ways you can avoid fluoride and its potential side effects. Stop drinking fluoridated water. Teach your child not to swallow toothpaste. Avoid using fluoridated salt and stick to raw, organic, wholesome food instead of processed goods. Ask the pharmacist if your medication contains fluoride. It's high time to get fluoridation chemicals out of the public water supply. When over 99% is sent down the drain and into the environment, it hardly touches a tooth and provides the much heralded benefits. If experts and consumers are convinced of the benefits fluoride may provide, then it should be kept in the toothpaste, where it can be applied topically and out of the clean water supply. There is no logical reason to ingest this toxic poison in the form of drinking water.